Okay, I'm going to uh, show you how to remove the colour cast from a photo. Now, this is a photo or slide that had a red colour cast. So I'm going to open it with GIMP, the open source graphics manipulation program. I'm running 2.8 on Linux, but you can do the same thing in Windows. And older versions of GIMP will work pretty much the same. Now this file from the scanner had a certain colour profile um, but and so normally we want to work in a RGB working space so I'll just do convert and we can see there's a red colour cast so obviously we want to reduce the, the cast. The other thing is, is that you can tell that there's sort of a fairly um, one sort of colour range. Now if we bring up colours levels, you can see that all of the signal level is in this upper area. Now we could adjust just the brightness here but it doesn't really do anything for us. We still have a red cast because it's adjusting all, all things equally. So what we really want to be doing is one at a time we can adjust the colour. Now this top area is the input level so what's seen in each of the colours. So you can see if I go red, green, blue um, we, we have different ranges of colours from the darkest of the reds to the brightest and of course in that channel they're output from the black to the full red. So to make the best use of the available I guess, colour ranges we have, we w actually would prefer to spread the, the colour over the full spectrum. So what I'm going to do is, and you can see that I've moved it up from the darkest to the light and then I can just move this around a little bit to where I think it should be. Now we, we're not making anything permanent yet but you can see already there's a huge improvement there. So you know moving from where it was to, to, to uh, something there. Do the same with the green. So again what we're trying to do is we're ex actually doing two things. We're expanding the, the ranges of colours that are available in the image and then also just adjusting the hues a bit. Same with blue, do the same thing. Now obviously this is assuming a pretty much constant colour cast there. So we've pretty well got what I wanted there to be honest. Just looking at the, uh, the whole whole picture. That looks looks pretty good. Now you know you can, I can still see a lot of red in the background of the um, the foliage there. So if I just 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 change that a little bit you can see that I'm actually moving a bit, bit, a bit less red in the picture, and of course it's actually coming away. And I can see where, where I would expect would be a white, the white uh, clothing, etc. It's, it's, it's pretty close there. Anyway, that's pretty much what I, all I wanted to show um, here. Um, now, the only other thing we can do is we can save settings. So um, we can just say removed red cast, for instance. So then we can come back and we can actually, once we've done that, we can use that. So in fact, what I can do is um, I can show you applying the current settings. If I undo what we've just done, all right, back to the original cast, go into colors, levels. And if we were bringing in another photo that was a similar image, we can just find our preset and then apply it and then we're done and then we just export it and obviously um, you know if I want to preserve the image then I just uh, just go uh, fixed on there so the original one's still there and export and voila so we have the two versions there